Okay, here we have a system of equations. We have the matrix, actually. And notice that the bottom row has all zeros, and it's a 3 by 3 system of equations. In that case, we're going to have infinite solutions. If this number here was a number, like 3, there'd be no solutions. But it's not. So we do have infinite solutions. In this case, we... we I mean, it should say something about parameter t read this part it says if there are infinitely many solutions express these variables in terms of the parameter t so we say let x3 equal t this is like x1 x2 x3 column along these diagonals so that th this zero here would be in the x3 location so that's what we got to do and then so row one can be writ rewritten like that x1 plus 4 x3 equals negative 5 see that you see that here um, the one the one and the four are in the x1 and x3 spots and those become the coefficients so you get you do get that equation x1 plus 4 x3 equals negative 5 and then the second equation you get x2 plus 3 x3 equals 5 now from those we can go ahead and get the infinite solutions so let's do that all right let's start with the first with this guy here well we have basically i'm going to rewrite it in terms of t so x1 plus 4 t equals negative 5 if we subtract 4 t from both sides subtract 4t we get x1 equals negative 5 minus 4t and notice that that's here see how we got that and now x3 that's t because we lit x3 equal t so then lastly with the second equation if we take that maybe bring it down here if we take that equation and let x3 equal t we get x2 plus 3t equals 5 we subtract 3t from both sides subtract 3t from both sides you get x2 equals 5 minus 3t which is there right so there you go that's how you get the answers notice that they wrote it as an ordered triple we have it as negative 4t minus 5 5 minus 3t and t so that is an ordered triple that represents the infinite solutions. So that's it.